Meadowlife produces its life-enhancing product, Escazine, at its production facility, Alpacil Laboratories, in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Process is monitored with careful quality control and testing to ensure Meadowlife's strict policies are enforced before the product is shipped out. Additionally, a Meadowlife representative is always on site during a production run to oversee the whole process from start to finish. The vital ingredient in Escazine comes from the Ropularis princeps, otherwise known as the blue scorpion. From 2008, together with the Ministry of Environment for the Dominican Republic, Meadowlife conducted extensive research to identify and locate this unique blue scorpion. Together with world-renowned Swiss laboratory Atheris, which specializes in scientific research of different venoms, Medalife confirmed that the venom from the Ropularis princeps contained the vital anti-cancer compound. Escazine is a natural, anti-tumoral nutraceutical and has been approved for oncological treatment. It is rapidly becoming popular with doctors, as well as patients and cancer institutions worldwide. With approximately 280 million people afflicted with cancer worldwide, there is a growing need to provide a new solution which fulfills both an alternative as well as complementary treatment to conventional cancer therapies. Meadowlife's patented formulation of blue scorpion venom can induce apoptosis, or cell death, in malignant cells by interfering with those cells' ion channels. Clinical observation confirms Meadowlife's blue scorpion formulation extract of polarized blue scorpion venom has a binding preference for malignant cells only, leaving the non-cancerous cells intact. This serene and remote part of the Dominican Republic is the home of the world's only scorpion reservation which covers over 50,000 square meters. The reservation has been developed to produce a natural habitat for the blue scorpion, as well as an efficient landscape for monitoring and collecting the scorpions for their valuable, life-enhancing venom. All techniques have been carefully developed for the caring and treatment of the scorpions, and this is all monitored by the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Environment for the Dominican Republic. Meadowlife has discovered that the scorpion's venom has greater potency in its natural habitat than when the scorpions are in captivity. It is therefore very important to note that Meadowlife's policy of keeping and maintaining the scorpions in their natural habitat is of vital importance. All employees are carefully trained to handle the scorpions while protecting their environment. Although the scorpions have existed for millions of years, this is the first time they have been used for medical purposes and it is our mandate to protect their natural habitat. The 50,000 square foot reservation has been carefully sectored and individual habitats have been built. Each sector has 20 meters and have 20 individual scorpion habitats. Each habitat contains approximately five to seven scorpions. They feed on cockroaches, crickets, worms, and other types of insects. Another fact that has been noticed by Meadowlife scientists and oncologists is that scorpions located under grapevines contain venom which is 35% more effective. This fact led to Meadowlife establishing a scorpion reservation on land containing grapevines. Meadowlife plans to do extensive research on this observation to establish why this phenomenon occurs. Meadowlife has a unique process for extracting the scorpion's venom. It has been developed through years of experience and research. This has created a new technology which increases the extraction amount fourfold. The first step in the process is to gently electrically stimulate the scorpion's venom gland and this process does not harm the scorpions. The extraction process can be repeated on each scorpion every 22 days. Meadowlife's Escazine production process is done in three parts. The first part is done at the reservation, and the second, which is the extraction process, is done at Aquas Vivas Laboratories in the capital, Santo Domingo. The second stage, which is the bottling and packaging, is done at Alopracil, also in Santo Domingo.